All right, guys. So, new program was out. Now, in case you guys don't know, in case you guys haven't looked, here is the new packs that you get. Not the best cards, but in case you guys don't have diamonds at this point in the year, here's a good chance to get some diamonds here. But you got Eddie Murray, Avoldi, Whitey Ford, Austin Meadows, pretty good power. Joe Carter, Bly Levin, Abreu, Kaline, Granky, Garver, Bagwell, Hunter, Hunter again. But you got Tory Hunter and Jim Hunter. Um, Paxton, Fergie Jenkins. Then you got Spawn, Nin, Four, Robin Roberts. I mean, I'm not going to go through and say, hey, every card. But my advice for you guys and this is the first thing that I do when the new program comes out, is the Conquest board. 30,000 XP. Boom. Simple. You get that out of the way. You're off and running. Now, the other thing that I do is the collections. This dropped before the program even dropped. This Lou Gehrig program easy takes me... Probably 30 to 40 minutes to do. That's how long it took me. But should take you no longer than an hour to do. But anyways, you want to get these two done. That's 10,000 XP for the Gary program. Another 15,000 XP for the Rockies City jersey. So there you go. The other thing that I recommend doing is this. Get all these done, and you should at least have possibly one of the future star cards in your inventory. But anyways, I mean, I could go on and on on how to get XP. But we're here for, hey, Gip, who's the best player in each pack? Starting with the AL East. I really think it's this Gunner Henderson card. 95 contact, 86 contact face lefties. So that will get you to 90 plus when you parallel 5 this card. If you do parallel 5 this card. But for a shortstop, not bad. 84 fielding, 96 arm, 92 arm accuracy, 77 speed. 104,000 right now, Max. But I think he is the best card in the AL East program. Anyways, moving on to number two. I think it's this Martinez card. 92, 82, 103, 90 power face lefties. Vision's a little low, but like I said, you parallel this card. If you guys hear someone freaking doing the grass, I apologize. But yeah, 92, 82, 103. And then that would be 95 power. So this card won't be bad if you parallel 5 him. But fielding's a little bit low. Arms, great. Accuracy's great. Reaction's good. 64 speed. I mean, not every card is going to have over 70 speed. But good card in general. Alright. Yes, I did, by the way. I got sponsored. Um, My... Third card in this pack is this Josh Lowe card. I think he lacks on the contact face lefties a little bit and the power face lefties. It'd be 85 power once you parallel 5 the card, but I think the power face righties is really good. Good all around card, just not my favorite card in this pack. But great fielding. You could probably put him in the outfield. No, excuse me, not in the outfield. I thought he was going to play first base. Anyways, I literally read that wrong. I was thinking of a different card. Anyways, can play center, left and right. So, yeah. I was thinking of this card. I don't know why I got mixed up. But to round it off, number four is this Oswald Perez card. I think the thing he lacks is the power. If you're playing this on Hall of Fame 
difficulty, legend difficulty, then he's not going to hit. That is terrible. But other than that, besides the power, this is a solid card. Good fielding, good contact. It's just the power that this Perez card lacks. And then Bellow doesn't have outlier. I think his pitch mix is bad. I mean, two off-speed pitches, two fastballs. He throws over 97. No outlier is just not that great. Anyways, the NL East. I think Brett Beatty is the best card in this pack. 108, 94, 100, 88. I mean, you parallel to that. That's 90 power. And then 84 fielding, not the greatest, but you can get that up. If you parallel 5, this card, 92 arm, 88 accuracy, 62 speed. Not bad. All right. A lot of people are going to disagree with me on this. I don't care. I think it's this Brady House card at number 2. 84, 97, 95, 92. You're getting 95 power and 92 power from both sides. 90 power plus from both sides. 81 vision. Good fielding. Good arm. Accuracy. Like, this card's insane. Like, I see a lot of people not even talking about this Brady House card. But I think it's a good card. So, that's who I got as number two for the NL East. And then I think it's Watson. It's a little, he's kind of your, if you have Jazz, he is your, hey, let me fill in and replace you for Jazz, if you have that face of the franchise card. 96, 88, 92, 84, 86, 88. I mean, great speed. Could be a leadoff hitter if you really like this card, but yeah. And then number four, I have Scott. I think the one thing this card lacks is power from both sides. Other than that, it's a pretty good card. I think it's kind of like the Oswald Perez card, just with less power. But everything else on the card is good. Good vision, good contact. The power's just down. And then it's Harris. Guys, the one thing that I hate in this game is contact hitters with no power. So, yeah. Everything else, I mean, is great. Good speed, good fielding, good contact, but the power is just down. Anyways, go to AL Central now. Where is it? I think Cespedes is the best card in the pack. 84, 88, 100 power from both sides. You get this card to parallel three, you'll have that. But everything about this card is great besides the vision it's a little bit low but yeah 82 fielding not bad so yeah 84 speed i don't think i would put him in center field i think i would put him in right field for my squad just because i have buxton i think in center so i'll have to look at my outfield and see where this sets for this card fits in but yeah, I think he's the best card in the pack. Number two, let me look right here at my notes. I think it's this Prado card, or Prado. 92, 84, 100 power from both sides off the rip. 92 fielding, 88 arm. I mean, you could put him in the outfield if you really wanted to. But I would probably stay with this Prado card at first base. All right, anyways, this could be debatable, all right, but I think it's Jackson Joe. 94, 94, 97, pretty good pitch mix. I mean, the slider, it's a little bit low in velocity. The circle change, I mean, there's not much difference in his off-speed pitches, but you could possibly get away with it. If you need a starter desperately, this is who I would recommend, but yeah, I might need starting pitching. You can't go wrong with it. All right. Then I think it's this George Valara card. I'm probably botching his last name. 97, 86, 110 power. 
nine and then 90 face lefties like I said you get that up to a parallel five that's 95 power um vision's a little low for me pretty good fielding speed I mean I think it's good for a right fielder I don't think it's bad you got 69 and then 57 steel it's not bad I might have to move the camera here but yeah that is a hundred percent of bench bat and then Austin Martin man not a great card at all yes he has a variety of places you can put him third base short left field right field but the power isn't there you could say oh yeah gift the power face lefties is there 81 power guys nah no, it's not going to get the job done at this point in the season. All right. The central. Best card, in my opinion, is this Henry Davis card. 91, 94, 88, 97, 78, Vision. Fielding isn't great, but you parallel five that. That's 80 fielding right there. 97 arm, 95 accuracy. I think this is the best potentially the best catcher in the future program all right number two is this austin hendricks card 100 power on both sides pretty good contact not the greatest if you're playing on all-star hall of fame or legend this card isn't going to be the card for you but yeah let me move this up a little actually here, I'll just get rid of it for a second. Oops. So you guys can kind of see that. All right. But yeah. And then... Number three is this Garrett Mitchell card. 100 contact, 87. 84, 75. Really good fielding. Good speed. But just... The power, guys, if there's not 90 power for this program, I don't think it's that great. I think there's better outfielders that you could get, but yeah. Number four is this Mason win card. Really good contact from both sides. Not the greatest power. 70 power, I mean, it could get the job done maybe, but I don't think in ranked seasons you're going to be hitting a lot of homers with this card i mean arm is great fielding's great speed is good but that power is just not there all right and then last but not least pete crow armstrong really good contact from both sides not the greatest power good vision good discipline really good fielding all around and good speed all right ale west it's got to be this Justin Foscu card. Everything about this card is pretty good. Contact face righties, I mean, you get that to 90 when you parallel 5 the card. Vision's a little low for me. Discipline is great. Clutch is good. Fielding's pretty good. You can get away with it. And there's a lack of second baseman this year. There's not a good, like, all-around second baseman cards being thrown around there. So... I think this Justin Foscue card is the best out of the whole bunch. All right. Number two. This was a toss-up for me. Because it was between Corey Lee and Shea Ligari. Or, I, I don't know. You guys can say his last name. I don't know how to pronounce it. All right? I'll just flat out say that. But anyways. It's the fielding for me. 90 contact, 85 face lefties, 102 power, 97 power, 92 fielding, 97 arm, 92 accuracy. Like, my God, you're you trying to throw someone out. He's, he's gone. He's done. Corey Lee, I would put as, excuse me, he's the third best card in this pack. 84, 95 contact, over 90 power from both sides, 75 vision. It's the fielding right there 
that holds him back. The 81 fielding, 98 arm, 96 accuracy. I mean, both solid options. And then I'm going to go with this Matt Brash card. 98 mile per hour fastball, slider 84, slurve 82. You're seeing the trend of pitchers using the slider and slurve. Circle change, I'm seeing that a lot this year, but not a bad card. And then I'm going to go with this Reed Detmers card. Yes, he threw a no-hitter. But it, I just don't think it gets the job done. That's just me. I mean, 95-mile-per-hour fastball, sweeping curve at 74, 84-mile-per-hour slider, 84-mile-per-hour circle change, and then a 87-mile-per-hour cutter. If that was a 92-mile-per-hour cutter, I'd be like, all right. All right, anyways... NL West. I think it's this Bobby Miller. Just because he has outlier. 99 mile per hour fastball. That's going to be a 102. At some times. So. Yeah you parallel this card to parallel 5. You're set. I don't see an issue with this card at all. I think this is the best card in the program. Because he has the outlier. Good pitch mix with the slider. Splitter sinker curveball. Good off speed pitches. So, I think Bobby Miller is the best out of the bunch. But this card, guys, I'm, I'm going to botch his last name. 84 contact, 92. 100 power from both sides of the plate. Vision's a little low. Fielding is great, 95. He's not going to miss a ball if it's hit to first base. And switch hitters. You don't have a lot of them this year. So... That's why he's number two. All right. Blake Walston is number three in this pack. Pretty good stats all around. I mean, good stamina, good hit per nine, good K per nine. Everything's pretty good. But the fastball velocity, 94. Need that to be at least 95. Okay, curveball. Circle change, good. Slider, good. Two seem pretty good, but not going to get the job done for me. And now I'm going to go with this card. Luis Campostano, or I don't know. 88, 94, 100 power from both sides when you get this to parallel three. But the fielding guys in the speed just doesn't get the job done. Then Joey Bart to round it out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put Joey Bart ahead of Luis. So, yeah. So, just flip that. And then, I already talked about the NL Central. I think I... Did I just go over every team? I think I just did. I think I just went over every team with you guys. Alright, so if there's a team that I missed, let me know, but I think I just went over every team with you guys. Alright, so that's going to do it for the stream, guys. Let me know who's your favorite future card. Let me know down below. I don't have anyone yet, so let me know who your favorite is. If you have a future of the franchise card, let me know. Do you agree? Do you disagree with me? Drop it down in the